Hey guys, welcome to the Straight Razor Shave series. So far, we've done what are the parts of a straight razor, how to take care of your scrub, how to do a straight razor shave, and probably some others that I don't remember today. Today we're gonna do how to strop a razor. All right guys, so a very important thing when you're stropping your razor is you wanna make sure that it's gonna be secured to something. So I use this carabiner. I actually usually strop in my uh, walk-in closet, but it's way too small to be able to also record in there. The, the, the key thing for stropping your blade is you want to make sure that when you're stropping it, first of all, the stropping is the act of making the blade go forward and back over the leather, and that's what sharpens it. And there's other materials too that they're not all leather. I think there's, I don't forget what the other material is, but leather is the most common one. And so you want to make sure that you're, you don't have it pulled tight like this when you're stropping it. You actually want to have a little bit of a curve to it. You want a, a bit of looseness, but not like this. You don't want it like super loose. So you just want it like about here, just a little bit of curvature as long as it's not tight like this. You also want to make sure that you cover the entire surface area of the blade. Uh, so I'm going to try to show this on camera here, but you'll notice that my blade is actually longer than the width of the strop. So what I actually have to do when I'm stropping is I have to make sure that I'm actually um, stropping at a curve. So I'm going, I'm starting here to get this half of the blade and I go along this and like this way in like a half moon and then when I come back I'm also coming back kind of in a half moon like this to make sure that I'm getting the entire surface area. And that's basically all you do. You see these people going back and forth really fast. That's great. You can do that once you're comfortable. The key thing is to make sure that you're getting the surface area of the blade when you're stropping and that you're not cutting yourself or the strop. Um, so basically, you don't have to put any weight on it really. The weight of the blade is enough. So all you do is you go this way and then back. This way and then back. And all you need is the weight of the blade. You don't need to put any pressure on it. The weight of the blade is enough. And in order to sharpen the blade, they say anywhere between 25 to 50 strops is good to keep your blade sharp for the next time you do a straight razor shave. Make sure you get the surface area, make sure you use the weight of the blade. And that, my friends, is how to strop a razor. How to do a straight razor shave. And probably some others that I don't remember today. Today we're gonna do how to strop a razor. Um, 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 um. And that my friends 